Hello, welcome to Shad Life. This is the short version of introducing the Canyon, Grand Canyon 5. Um, I'm just going to go over the bike really quick. If you want all the nitty gritty details, you can watch my almost 25 minute long, or I think it's about 25 minute long, video of me unboxing and assembling this bike and so on and so forth. But I wanted to do a shorter video just kind of introducing the bike and giving my brief opinion of it um, for those of you that don't want to watch a 25 minute long video. So here it is, Grand Canyon 5. On Canyon's website it was $6.99. Um, spec on this bike is pretty decent for that price range. We have a Shimano Dior rear derailleur. Um, some kind of no name brand crank that actually looks pretty decent. It looks beefy, so on and so forth. Um, not sure why it didn't come with the Shimano Dior crank that the site said, but generally when companies run out into supply issues, they replace the spec part with something equal or greater than what their website says. And so I will consider this crank, you know, equal to or greater than a Dior crank. Um, what's really awesome is the Sunrace cassette, 10 to 51 gear range. Pretty surprising with the Dior uh, derailleur. Um, so this drivetrain is super solid. It will give you the climbing ability all day long. Um, frame is aluminum, really nice. This sun tour fork or sr sun tour now um it's a x1 i believe it is it is an xc fork 32 millimeter stanchions um pretty decent it's spring and there is no air in this but it does have a preload adjustment and then it's got this on the fly adjustment where you can lock it out and it actually does lock out and then um Move it on the fly. Uh, rebound adjustment. So it's got three adjustments, which is pretty nice for a lower end fork. Um, up here, we've just got a straight flat bar. Keep in mind, this is an XC bike. So the geometry is going to be more XC oriented. Um, hydraulic brakes. So pretty decent component spec. What are the negatives on this bike? Well, it has quick release. It doesn't have through axles. So this is just a standard uh, 10 millimeter dropout setup with a quick release. It's pretty old school, 100 millimeter width spacing, which is also older spec. And then the rear is also quick release with 135 rear spacing, which used to be the standard a long time ago, but now everybody's running, um, you know, on higher end bikes through axles. 148 boost spacing front through axles 110 boost spacing so um, a little bit out of spec there which makes this bike a little bit more challenging to upgrade if that is your intention so um, aside from that um, oh and the other weak part <laughs> are these pedals I talk about them in more detail in my other video but I actually would refuse to ride this bike as off-road with these pedals they are dangerous they they have no grip to them whatsoever they're just they actually call them commuter pedals so yeah um, if you're gonna off-road this bike absolutely get pedals that have metal pins and wear shoes that are designed for flat pedals so um, and Another weak point was that the frame is not dropper compatible. At least I haven't found anything on here that makes it dropper compatible. There is no hole in the seat tube to allow for the cable routing to come underneath the seat post. So that's kind of a bummer. But aside from those things, it for $6.99, it seems like a really good bike. I will actually get out and ride this thing as soon as the snow melts and I can get on dirt. Uh, it's going to be a little while before that happens. But so far from assembling the bike and looking at it, like even the tires seem nice. The wheels, they're not sealed bearing hubs, but they are Shimano hubs. 
things like that. Um, super impressed with this bike so far. It is what I would consider a great bike for somebody that can't afford to spend, you know, a grand or more and they want to get into mountain biking and have something decent that's going to hold up. One thing I can tell you for sure, this bike will last. It will hold up. I always talk about not being a fan of department store bikes because I just don't think they'll hold up and they're very good quality and they're actually not safe. This bike, on the other hand, a few hundred dollars more, but absolutely worth that upgrade to get viable, good components in a bike that isn't going to fall apart on you right away. Hydraulic brakes even. $6.99 and it comes with hydraulic brakes. That's pretty amazing. So there you have it. I will get out and ride this bike and talk quite a bit more about it once I can get a feel for how it rides. I will get out and ride it around on the roads here soon and get it my initial riding impression, but it's going to be a while before I can get it off-road and get that true single track experience and tell you how this bike rides. Sweet. I appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.